Okay, so let's take a look at Voronoi diagram. So for that, what we will do first is we will take a look at R Studio, right? So if I open this, I will have to install one of the package, right? So that package we can search on Google. Let's see the package in R, and here you see within CRAN package, we can find this Teldir package. This is the one which will help us create this Voronoi diagram, right? So what we can do, we go to R Studio and here, Tools, Install Package. Right, so I already have one script in the background, you can ignore that and here type in Delir. now click install meanwhile you can remove the tab if you have already going on pay attention to console here you notice that you have package that is installed right so let's create new script and first call for Delir package right then we will move on to sample data. So for that, type in set seed one, right? And here, use x run if fifty. Then y run if fifty. Right now, the next thing would be tessellation and where we will be calling for this delta function right so tessellation and here we call delta we'll be passing x and y to these two right next we will have to think of tiles so tiles and here we will pass tile dot list where we will pass tessellation right finally we will have to plot tiles and we will take a look at pch value to 19 right so one by one we can execute this first line being our library called Teldir right and it will show you something like this right next set seed then setting value of x y and then tessellation right so we can take a look at its form and as you can see in another tab it should open right so we can close this now come back to next line right then we have tiles and its values total list of 50 all of them visible in new tab next thing will be plotting tiles and we have the tiles being plotted here x and y values and it has these points dark points you can view right you can even number them if you want to you will just have to use numbers or number set to true and if i run this statement instead of points it should show you that a bit complicated if you view it small so you will have to zoom for larger window right and you will find this all right we can close this now next thing we can remove the point by using show points set to false let's see how it looks so if i run this and you will notice the points and numbers both are gone 
rest of the stuff remains the same right then if you want to close this with a rectangle shape we can do so so we can simply use close set to true and here for this particular statement you can run this line and here you'll notice there are points but all of them now are part of closed Vernai right so it should look something like this right uh, for those who want better observation can use this close rectangle option with close true and it should look good like this right so what we have seen so far we downloaded and installed Dell Didrit package then we created a sample data imported Dell Didrit package as well and then we also created tessellation and tile that we used for plotting this Voronoi diagram right then we added the points removed the points added numbers and also closed Voronoi in this particular rectangle right so now the next thing would be to filling the color right so what we can do here is we can use our pch set to 19 then we can use fill color here we can use hcl dot colors and here we can pass on some of the colors like let's see purple dash yellow right and next thing we will run this and let me zoom this one here you see this particular theme is if you set purple and yellow and it will show the Vernoi diagram with this particular theme right you can also set the border to some specific color and then just the theme accordingly right so if I choose border here so border equals to let's say white comma then within double quote if I use some theme like sunset and if I run this it should show something like this right most of the people will find this as some sort of NFT art you can make art with this as well you can remove these points as we did and it would turn out to be some sort of data art right so let's say show points set to false and if i run this it should now look like some sort of a mosaic right and now the data is a lot more clearer as well but if you are specifically interested in data side of this instead of sketch so you will have to keep the points or maybe a number so that diagram will hold some sort of value otherwise it will remain like an art okay so you get the idea how to create Voronoi diagram with del layer package in our language okay there is one more package which is gg Voronoi right we can kill this code and download that package so gg Voronoi we will be using this with ggplot2 so if i install this you can write a different data set and then we can draw Voronoi diagram with that right so first thing gg Voronoi right and second library ggplot2 okay take a look at spelling issues if there are any so right 
is not available okay sorry for checking that it seems like my current version is not ready for this particular package so I will have to check again oh yes it seems like it is not allowing me to install that again so let's try it one more time Okay, so I downloaded this package ggvornoi we also have ggplot2 so we can create a new seed right and we add value for x and y sample right 1 to 400 and size set to 100 right and then y sample 1 to 400 and size set to 100 right now if I check the value for square root of let's say x by 200 right and outside I will have to use raise to 2 right plus on the next line we can use y by 200 and then make it raised to 2 right now we can go for our data frame so data dot frame and we pass x then comma y and then dist equals to dist right now we have our data frame we can plot our Voronoi diagram so ggplot then df then aes then we pass on x then y and outside we will be using the field equals to dist right then what we can do is concatenate this with geom underscore Voronoi right so we have Voronoi which will concatenate again with geom underscore point right so let's try and find if everything is working so gg Voronoi okay so the library is here so I will run this one by one so we got our package right next thing uh, we will have to select all of this up to data frame and then I will have to run this so that it should work right so both ggplot and ggvornoi loaded so we will select this run right so we have our data frame Let's view this so x y when dist value right so everything is working next thing let's go for ggplot select this statement run so okay so there are spell mistakes i will have to select this line run this and here as you can see i get a bit darker background and that's why it's not visible properly i will have to change few things here right so apart from that however we managed to get our points for Voronoi diagram and we are using ggplot and ggvornoi for this plot